Good morning. Welcome to our matin service via YouTube. Give thanks to God that you are here with us today. We begin with our opening verse. Of oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ, Lamb of our salvation. Blessed be God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, come, let us worship Him. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into His presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The strength of the hills is in his also. The sea is his See who bears the awful load. 
Tis the word the Lord's anointed, Son of Man and Son of God. Here we have a firm foundation, here the refuge of the lost. Christ the rock of our salvation is the name of which we boast. Lamb of God for sinners wounded, sacrifice to cancel guilt, none shall ever be confounded who on him their hope have built. A reading from Philippians chapter 2. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking on the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord, to the glory of the Father. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. We have an advocate with the Father, Jesus is the propitiation for our sins. He was delivered up to death. He was delivered for the sins of the people. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is put away. He was delivered up to death. He was delivered for the sins of the people. We have an advocate with the Father. Jesus is the propitiation for our sins. He was delivered up to death. He was delivered for the sins of the people. I will not die, but live to proclaim what the Lord has done. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Have you ever thought of yourself as a servant? I'm not just talking about being a servant to God, but also being a servant to everyone you know, to everyone that you come into contact with, even those you don't get along with, even those that you hate. Let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interest of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking on the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death even death on the cross. Are you a servant? As a Christian, absolutely, you are a servant. If this sounds degrading, do not fear, for Jesus Christ himself is a servant. By taking on the form of a servant, becoming born in the likeness of men. Yet who does Jesus serve? He serves you. I want you to think of this when you come to worship. First and foremost, that Jesus is serving you. He is serving you right now. Jesus left heaven, suffered, and died for you. As we sang in our sermon hymn, stricken, smitten, and afflicted, and this was for us. He did this because none of us could do it. And matter of fact, none of us probably wanted to do it. Because none of us are God. None of us are perfect servants. 
Jesus humbled himself so that we would be exalted. You know what Jesus has done for you. You know that he serves you through his death. As we heard in the office hymn, if we think of sin lightly, simply look at Jesus and remember that he went to the cross because of your sin. He is serving you right now through his word. For this reason, we bow before him and we confess that he is Lord to the glory of the Father. We serve because he first has served us and gave himself up as a ransom for us. There are many people who are in need these days. Let us serve them and teach them of the one who serves us. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. We now sing the Te Deum together. We praise you, O God, we acknowledge you to be the Lord. All the earth now worships you, the Father everlasting. To you all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To you cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, Holy, company of the apostles praise you. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise you. The noble army of the martyrs praise you. The holy church throughout all the world does acknowledge you. The father of an infinite majesty, your admirable, true, and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. You are the King of glory, O whole Christ. You are the everlasting Son of the Father. When you took upon yourself to deliver man, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. When you had overcome the sharpness of death, you opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you will come to be our judge. We therefore pray you to help your servant, whom you have redeemed with your precious blood. Make them to be numbered with your saints in the glory everlasting. O Lord, save your people and bless your heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify you, and we worship your name for ever and ever. Grant, O oh Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O oh Lord, let your mercy be upon us, as our trust is in you. O Lord, in you have I trusted, let me never be confounded. We continue with the Kyrie. Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, 
forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you that your Son, Jesus Christ, took on human flesh and became obedient even unto death, death on a cross, for us, so that we might be forgiven and saved. Help us, Lord, to have the same mindset and to serve our neighbor as ourselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we pray for Chiron. She is having a difficult time in the military. We pray that you would give her your peace, which surpasses all understanding. We also pray for Pastor Masi and Robert Ford, who are in Nepal, and they're not able to come back because of the coronavirus. We also pray for those in our congregation who are battling cancer, Lowell Marcus and Christy Carnizales. And we continue to pray for Delilah and for all the things that are going on in her life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning for Matins. It's a pleasure to be able to have you here virtually. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. That way you know when we have another video coming out. The next time that uh, we will be here in worship will be on Sunday at 9 a.m. Look forward to having you be there. The Lord be with you.